can base your speech on the data that you acquired through research. I really like the way you came out here in front of your audience, very enthusiastic, and you start talking about the F word. You caught our attention, and we just couldn't imagine what F word you were thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> but finally, you let us know it was about failure. How the war on drugs has been a total failure. And you went from the time of prohibition all the way to the present time. And you did it in a very clever manner. And you did it up here in front. You started out here very strong here in front, telling us a story about how things have progressed with uh, in the war on drugs. And how millions of lives have been affected and perhaps ruined. And how billions of dollars have been spent to fight drugs. And all the murder and slaying that, that has occurred as far as the car drug cartel, cartel is concerned. And it was very interesting in the way you were presented. I will say that you got back to the security of the podium here and started uh, reading the last part of your speech. You sort of lost your momentum at that point. Now, what caught my attention, and just this uh, a recommendation, is we need to separate opinion versus fact. You start showing us a lot of newspaper articles about the war on drugs and, and using them as, and columnists using that as support material. Well, that is all right, but. These aren't, you know, empirical studies. Or these aren't, these aren't, this is not research. This is opinion. You know, this is opinion. And, and the, um, the idea here was to support, every, you know, your speech with, with, with research and with uh, statistical evidence and use words like the findings of this study show this and this and this. The findings of this study show this and this. Instead, you said, well, like Jimmy Carter. You know, he, he thought that this should have been done and what have you. This is just opinion, and this isn't uh, real good. This is not good in the, uh, as, as far as, um, as presenting the uh, research talk. That's, that's the uh, thing I like to keep in mind. And then when you said dare is miserable failure, and you had an excellent opportunity to present research on why it was a failure, you missed that opportunity. But I thought it was. You did a good job of, uh, of presenting a gutsy talk to, to the audience, and you 